Are you ready to get started with your Christmas decorating and DIY ideas for 2021? Well, on this video, I'm gonna share with you over 15 DIY Christmas ideas that are easy and affordable. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video we're starting our Christmas DIYs for 2021. This is a compilation of over 15 projects that we have done in the past and I'm gonna share with you wreaths, small wreaths, lanterns, mantles. We're gonna do all kinds of Christmas DIYs and I'm so excited that you are here today. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with a friend. Let them know what we're doing here at Ramona Home. And while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so everybody knows that we're starting our Christmas season. Are you guys ready to get started with the Christmas DIYs? Let's get started. All right, you guys, so once we have the double wreath um, all covered in our glittery ribbon, and you can see it gives it more of a donut shape versus the flat shape that would give you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our snowman and with the staples that we already put our pipe cleaners, we're gonna go ahead and attach right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down. So I'm gonna use these pipe cleaners to um, attach to my wreath very tightly like this or like so once again. <laughs> and then I'm gonna attach like this I'm gonna flip it around so we have this cute little shape. And then to finish it off, because it does say let us know on the wreath, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add just a little dab of glue on these Dollar Tree snowflakes, and I'm gonna put them down. Super easy project, and as you guys can see, it is under $10, and I also love it. This is perfect for a gift. If you have, perhaps for a teacher, it would be really cute in a classroom. If you have any kids, so just press those down and it continues on with the theme of the let us know with the snowflakes right here. It is super easy and very affordable to make. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this cute little DIY. All right, you guys, so for this farmhouse style inspired look, what we're gonna need is this lantern that came from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna use this reindeer that also came from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna use one stem of this beautiful eucalyptus, two stems of this gorgeous, gorgeous mixture of berries, and this is just absolutely beautiful, and this also you can find at Hobby Lobby. We're gonna need burlap ribbon, as well as some of this check ribbon for our topper. Then we're gonna need a little piece of scrap garland that I'm gonna move my reindeer before I uh, make him fall. And uh, then also we're gonna use some scraps of greenery that we've had from existing projects like this cedar and this pine right here. All right, let's get started. The very first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put this guy right here on the top and I'm just gonna go ahead and swivel it and tie this very tight on the back because we're gonna need it to attach some of our goodies to it. All right, let me close this door because it's making a lot of noise. Perfect. All right, so then what we want to do after we've done that is we're going to add some of this burlap ribbon. And I just want it to hang right here to the side. So using the bristles, as you guys can see, it's going to give them a little twist. And I'm going to give them a little staggering right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this ribbon too. And then we're also going to attach in the same spot. So just go ahead and gather right here and attach on the same spot, even with the same bristles, like this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you stagger them, so we have to cut this one a little bit shorter than the bottom one. Now this time I want the burlap to show a little bit more, 
So just like this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in on the other side with the burlap as well. So I'm gonna twist this guy around and I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here. And I just want that burlap to show. So just we add a little bit burlap and then what I wanna do is I wanna put a bow on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a sweet little bow. And if you guys haven't seen the video where I show you how to make three different bows, I know a lot of you have seen it. Go ahead and check it out because I show you, look how fast this is you guys. I'll show you how to make this bow very detailed but for reasons of the video today, we have to go a little faster. And watch me just go ahead and attach this. I'm not even gonna tie it with a, with a pipe cleaner, which I usually do, but I'm gonna go ahead and attach this just with the pipe cleaners. I'm sorry, with the uh, bristles of the, of the garland that we put. And that's why it's so important to learn how to work with these garlands because you can really, really, let me fluff this guy. Go a long way but just by using those bristles. There we go. So then now we have this cute little bow. I'm gonna dovetail this guy right here. All right, so now that we have our bow and our tails are dovetailed and you fluff it, like so, we're gonna spin it around and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some of this mixture of berries and other Christmas greeneries. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach one right here. Once again, just using that bristle, just twist it around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one over on this side, but this time draping down. So I'm gonna give it a little curvature. And then I'm gonna go up like this. And just with one of the uh, Christmas bristles on the garland, I'm gonna go ahead and just play with it like that. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this eucalyptus. Comes in, link in this long stem. So I'm just gonna cut some of this and I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these eucalyptus because to me, nothing says farmhouse more than uh, this type of greenery, you know, was made famous by a really famous designer and now everybody uses it on this particular style of decorating. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy right here. Look all the product you get from one stem. All you have to do is just cut it. Dare to cut it. And don't forget to go all the way to the back too so it's finished on both sides. All right, like this. Now I'm gonna show you a trick. You see how it's missing something right here? I feel like there's berries on this side. There's berries on this side. Well, what you can do is just go ahead and take this out and then you can pull this apart just by pulling out some of those like this and you didn't hurt your stem, you put it back in here, and then you insert that berry where you had a spot where it was missing. Just go ahead and insert that berry like that, and look at that, it's finished. And just to finish this farmhouse inspired look, I'm gonna go ahead and put our reindeer inside, like this. And to finish him off, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some of this greeneries that I had I'm gonna go ahead and fluff them like this. And I just wanna give them a little bed of greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and fluff. And these were literally just recycled from past projects, you guys, these cute little picks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert one on this side, just so he looks like he's stepping on some winter greens. And I'm gonna go on the back like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this cedar as well, just to give it texture. It's very important that you put different types of greeneries on your lantern that way, or any project, because it just gives it a more realistic look. And I absolutely love the cedar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here. And to finish this look off, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a few ornaments right here by him so it gives him a little bit more of a Christmas look. You can either close the doors or leave them open, it's up to you but I also love the way this turned out and I'm gonna get ready for the final one and I cannot wait to show you. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so for today's quick tip, I just wanna show you how to spruce up this really cute reindeer neck. So what we're gonna do is so I'm gonna grab this garland and any garland will do, but I do like this one because it's a little bit snowed 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this around his neck. No rhyme or reason. I just want him to look like he just went to the forest and got tangled up in some of this really pretty garland. So once you attach it, what you do need to make sure is that you fluff it a little bit. So if there's any flyaways, make sure that they fly away and let it also sweep up and down. You wanna make sure that it really looks intentional. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece of ribbon right here. And before I attach it, it's gonna be his scarf. I'm gonna hang down some tails, all right? So I'm gonna go make sure that I put it right here. It's kinda of like a scarf, but it's really not. It's going to be a bow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tie that real quick. So I'm gonna have three bows right here. Then I have pre-made a bow already, and I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one of my tails through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy now. The ends are already dovetail. I went ahead and did that to save some time, but you know, if I come to your house and your dovetails are not, I'm gonna ask you for a pair of scissors. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just fluff all of these tails and look how cute this is. Really simple, really quick. And the only other thing I'm gonna add is gonna be some of these pine cones and it's going to be a focal point. So I'm gonna add three. You know that if you've been watching this channel, you know I like to add sets of two, threes and one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here making sure that my reindeer doesn't fall. Then I'm gonna go ahead and attach another one over to the top. I want it to be a cluster, so they have to be together, of course. So just make sure that you throw that wire right there. See, I'm telling you, it wants to fall off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the last one, which is going to be right here, right next to them. So this one, I'm just gonna swirl with this one right here to make it cluster together by hiding this wire. Then you wanna go ahead and fluff all of these pretty bows like this, make sure all of your dovetails show. And look at that, really quick, really simple, very striking. What do you guys think? All right, everyone, so for our farmhouse style inspired wreath to match our lantern, uh, what we're gonna need is a grapevine wreath. We're also gonna need a scrap piece of garland that we're going to attach to a wreath. So I'm gonna put it right here. We're gonna use the checker uh, board. Um, we're gonna use this plat ribbon that we use on the lantern, as well as the burlap ribbon that we use also on the lantern. We're gonna use the same picks of berries and greenery mix, as well as some of this eucalyptus. All right, let's get started. The very first thing we need to do uh, to make this farmhouse style spire wreath is we're gonna go ahead and attach this garland into the grapevine because that will give us some surface to work with. And you guys know that I love to combine this beautiful greenery garland with, um, with the grapevines. It just gives it so much more texture and bulk when you're trying to make a design like this. So let's just start like that. We're gonna put some garland. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some ribbons. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach some burlap first and I'm gonna go ahead and do some loops. Now, once again, this does not have to be perfect. Just go ahead and create some loops because the farmhouse style the core, it really, it doesn't have to be like all glimmed up. It's just a little bit more rougher around the edges. And that's what I like about it because, well, it is easier to work with non-perfect materials like burlap, like so. Make sure that those hang down like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these uh, buffalo plaid. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one right here. By the way, leave me comments uh, down below if you have seen the lantern video. I wanna know which one was your favorite. I cannot wait to read your guys' comments for this one. Just go ahead and do this and then just go ahead and loop right here. You know, my answer to everybody that says, oh, it looks as easy, it looks so easy to make. And I'm just gonna say right now, this is, you guys, as easy as it looks and always keep in mind that it does not have to be perfect to be beautiful, okay? You do not have to create perfection. Just because you see it perfect in the magazines doesn't mean that you have to make it perfect. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim these tails, and I'm gonna dovetail right here, like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a little shorter as well. Then with my leftover ribbon, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it up here on the top to create a little bit more of tail like this. I'm gonna give it a little loop, just attach. And keep in mind that we're gonna do a bow to go with this 
up here. But the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this buffalo plat ribbon. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on the floor. And then I'm going to grab some of the burlap right here and I'm going to put it on top. And the reason why I want to put it on top is because it is thinner than the other one, so it shows better. And I'm going to give it a little tail like this. I'm going to pinch them together. I'm going to drop it on the floor as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a bow like this. I'm going to go ahead and spin it around and just create this like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time like so. And because I ran out of ribbon, what you need to do is you need to insert another piece of ribbon right here. And look how I ran out of both. So what I like to do is just go ahead and finish that tail, let it be a little extra tail, and then I'm gonna cross right here. What you need to do is bring more burlap. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy right here. So just because you ran out of ribbon doesn't mean you cannot continue to go on. All right, so then you start over again and then you do your tail like this and just attach right here. We'll go back and secure all of that. But then with a trusty zip tie, what well, we're gonna go ahead is attach all of it like this, okay? Now, my favorite thing to do when I have, I'm gonna show you a trick real quick. First of all, pull really tight, cut your excess. So what you wanna do is just gonna go ahead and cross it like this and then you're going to go ahead and make a knot like this, pull really tight. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these two tails to attach to your wreath. And it just gives it a little bit more detail to it. I'm gonna take it off the stand just so I can tie it because like I said earlier, four hands work better than two. However, I don't have a helper, so. All right, so you just go ahead and attach it like that. You can cut the excess. I'm gonna put it back on the stand right here and then right now it's time to fluff this bow make sure it looks beautiful actually let's attach the rest and then we'll go back to it all right so then what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and bring these berry picks and you're going to go ahead and go as close as you can to the wreath form and just with those uh bristles go ahead and attach it to your wreath form then i'm going to go ahead and bring some of this guy right here and i'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side right here and just with that bristle, just twist it around your pick. And I like how this looks, but I think it really needs some of this eucalyptus. So just with the bristles, go ahead and attach this guy, swirl it around. And I have a whole bunch of it right here. I cut a long stem into five pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here. And just go ahead and attach it to the to the burlap and this looks exactly what our lantern look like you guys is the exact same materials is exact same colors and i'm just trying to show you what creating a story with materials means if you have this in your door then you have the lantern and then i'll show you how to do the mantle all with the same materials and you have a very cohesive look around your house all right so i'm going to go ahead and attach this guy right here just twisting those bristles and now it is time to fluff all of these beautiful bows like this, this could also be just a winter wreath. This will last you all the way to January. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have very many Christmas um, elements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail some of these guys right here. And I'm gonna do short. At this point, you have to stagger them so they all show. Like this guy right here needs to be dovetail like that. And then this guy right here needs to be dovetail. And just like that, you got yourself a farmhouse style inspired wreath to go with your lantern i'm gonna show you what it looks like on the door stay tuned are you guys enjoying this christmas diys well, I really hope you are, but I wanna take a second to invite you to first of all, give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Be sure to share with your friends and also be sure to follow me on my Instagram for daily Insta stories behind the scenes and all of the things that you don't get to see here on YouTube channel. 
all of my social media links are gonna be in the description box below. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, everyone, so we're gonna start with the smallest lantern we'll be doing today and the easiest perhaps out of all of them, but I just wanna show you how easy it really is to fix a lantern uh, for the holidays. Now I got this lantern at a local store called Nail Hills and this is not sponsored, but I'm gonna leave their number down below in case you guys wanna get a hold of it. I don't know if they still have it or not, but that's why I got mine. I got a set of three and this will be perfect for a tablescape. Let me just show you how easy it really is to put it together. Now these are the picks that came from the dollar store and you guys have seen this before because I did a little wreath um, on the video where I did three wreaths. So if you have not seen the video with the three wreaths, it really is something. Um, they come with all these ornaments and cedars and pines and berries. But what you need to do is go ahead and touch every little branch and just give them a little life. Once you have done that, what you need to do is also do a little curve like this because we want to sit right here. So to attach, we need to do a little curve like this. And we're going to go ahead and then you're going to attach both of them like this. I was about to say like so. Um, and then attach these guys with a pipe cleaner. All right. Just make sure that it's really tight. Once you've done that, go ahead and cut your excess like that. And then I already pre-made a tiny little bow that I think it's very proportionate to the size of my lantern. And let me see, we have a little drawer that it opens. So we're going to go ahead and open that to make sure that we know that's the front. So then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm going to attach another pipe cleaner to this because I don't think it'll be long enough. And the way you can do that is you just basically attach two of these pipe cleaners like this. And then you go ahead and that way you just make yourself a longer one. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and attach the bow to our little swag. And just give it a spin on the back so it stays together. As you guys can see, this is super easy and simple. Then what you need to do is you wanna go ahead and place that like so, and just basically attach it right here to the top. So cute, super simple, full of ornaments, cedars. And then what I've done for this one, I have these uh, battery operated candles that also came from Nail Hills and they have a remote. So you basically just go ahead and click it on and you have yourself a beautiful uh, lantern for the holidays. All right, you guys, so for this idea is going to be the lantern idea, and this is gonna match our little lantern that we did on our lantern video. So we're gonna use a lantern and a little candle. We're gonna use a green wreath that came from Hobby Lobby and might as well just take that pesky tag off. We're also going to use four of these Dollar Tree picks with all of the berries and the ornaments. You guys know how in love I am with this, guys. So we're gonna use four of those. We're going to use some clusters of ornaments in red and green some really big ones because I really want to make a really big statement piece on the top. So we're gonna use some of these big ones and I'll show you how do we do those. And then we're gonna use this ribbon uh, that says Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. And it's a burlap ribbon for the dollar store. Uh, we're also gonna use some pipe cleaners in red to attach our items. So let's get started. The very first thing I really implore you to do when you're doing one of these wreaths is grab your wreath and go ahead and give it a fluff. All you have to do is pull these bristles up because when they pack them, they pack them really flat as a pancake and you do not want to see that on anyone's door. Pancakes are good on the plate for breakfast, sometimes dinner for breakfast, however, not good on your door. So all you have to do is basically just pull All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here, right? And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a bow. So I'm gonna just drop this on the floor and I'm gonna give it just a little tail because we're gonna go ahead and use a focal point on it. And if you guys haven't seen the video, how I make bows, um, three styles of bows, I'm going to link it up so you guys can watch that as well. Once you're done with this video, um, as I told you before, I'm sorry about the music. Back then I did not know how to edit a video. So I'm really sorry that it's super loud and annoying, but so we're gonna use all of the ribbon that comes on this little spool. And these also don't have to be perfect. 
Keep in mind that to be beautiful does not have to be perfect. And I always tell people, Mother Nature does not create perfection, so don't look for it anywhere in your decor. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this with my pipe cleaner. I just go through the bow and I pull back. It's super easy and simple. I'm gonna twist and then I'm gonna put this sweet little bow right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to my bristles. Or actually, I'm gonna go back. And just attach it, it's a sweet little touch, but I'll show you in a second how we're gonna make this bow stand out even better, all right? So then I have two strips of this same ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold them in half, right, like this, and then I'm gonna pinch, and then I'm gonna attach right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just twist with my bristles. And what you wanna do is just create some loops to kinda elongate that bow shape all the way down, like this. You wanna go ahead and loop it like this and just attach it. Give it a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series. And then also please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're enjoying the multiple um, project on each video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spin to my, like this so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm basically just pinch right here with some of those bristles. Now we're gonna cover some of these with ornaments. So once again, it does not have to be perfect. Don't look for perfection because perfection does not exist in mother nature, so why is it gonna, why are we gonna force it? That's my point. All right, so, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and attach here too. Then the next step is I'm gonna add these dollar store picks. Once again, you guys get rid of those tags and then also take a minute to touch every single branch and fluff them out. Everything that has a little wire, make sure that you pull that wire forward, backwards. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little bent like this, pull those ornaments forward and I'm gonna go ahead and insert one right here. And with my own bristles, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this like that. You wanna do it in a few places. Look how pretty that is. Just one pick of greenery with ornaments and look what it does to this wreath. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another one right here. So again, just using my bristles. And I have four, so I'm gonna do two on each side. But you wanna give them a little space because we're gonna add some ornaments to it too. So just go ahead and add this like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this one over here. Just with the bristles, you just twist that bristle into one of the ornaments or into the pick and look, it'll stay. You could stop right here if you wanted to, but because we are Ramon at home, this is my show. So I'll always like to do more is more. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach the lantern. And this one has a sweet little door that you wanna make sure that it's forward so you can get to that candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here with my bristles for the wreath. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those bristle, uh, bristles through my holder, pull it as far back as I can and as tight as I can. So that's gonna help my lantern stay in place. And when I wanna turn my candle on, I can just go ahead and do that. Like that, I can leave it open if it's for indoors or I can close it. These candles come on a timer and they just look so cute. So I'm gonna leave it on for now. Then the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna create some clusters and I have created this one right here. So basically I also have a video on this if you wanna watch the whole tutorial on it. But what you do is you grab an ornament in a medium size, then you grab a large one right here, and then you grab a small one right here. And you just put them on this pipe cleaner and it gives you this cluster of ornaments. Then what you wanna do is I'm gonna put this one right here. So I'm gonna pull back with my pipe cleaner. I'm gonna make sure that I secure it. I come all the way down like this, and that just gives it a more Christmas look. And then I have this massive one that I want up here because I want right here, I like to work with sets of twos, threes, and ones. So I have two and I have one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this guy right up here on the top, making sure that all of my ornaments show. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this with this uh, pipe cleaner. You basically just attach it to one of the bristles. Make sure that you twist it really good and it all stay there till you cut it, you guys. That's the beauty of working with wire. And then you just basically secure them. You can swirl around one of those bristles to secure in place. Make sure that all of your ornaments show like this. And voila, you have yourself another beautiful wreath. Thumbs up if you like it. And let me show you what it looks like on the door.
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the bristles from each side and just give them a light twist. And I'm gonna do that all the way to the bottom so both of the garlands are unified into just one. And then that way he looks like he has a wreath around his neck. Make sure that you do it securely where you pull and it doesn't come off like that. So it looks like a swag going down. You can still see his feet. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my gold ribbon and I'm gonna start right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bristles and then just twist. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some pretty loops, smaller because you don't wanna overpower and overtake over on the neck of your reindeer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross the ribbon over to this side and just do a loop right here. These loops are probably about four inches. So we can cover some of that garland as well and make sure that you weave it into your garland right here. Look at that, how pretty is that? Go ahead and give it a crinkle right there. I'm gonna do another mini loop right here. One more right here. And then just pull back like that. And then I'm gonna finish by dovetailing my ribbon right here. So cut going up like that. Cute, so that gives us some texture into the garland and it's starting to look like a wreath around his neck. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my really beautiful ribbon that we used on our um, fireplace. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the floor once again, starting always by dovetailing. If you just start by the dovetail, then it is way easier to maneuver. So I'm gonna go ahead and do right here a pinch. Then I'm gonna do a loop. Always, it is also easier if you fold down and then you twist right here. You go ahead and grab that and then fold down and I'm gonna go ahead and do a three loop like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my third ribbon, which is my favorite, this mesh looking ribbon. So I'm gonna start by doing another loop, but I'm gonna do it the other way. And then I'm gonna bring it back up and I'm gonna do a loop right here. For this particular one, I'm only gonna do a two loop like this. How beautiful is this, you guys? I just love all the sparkle in it. Then I'm gonna grab my wire and I'm going to tie all of these together. Super easy, super simple. Just give it a really, really tight pull and then you secure it by twisting. Make sure that you give a few twists. And so now we have a gorgeous bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here and right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and install my bow right here. How cute is this? You can do it two ways. You can just do it by attaching the wire to the garland, what I'm doing, or you could also cross a bristle into the um, bow and then secure it right here in the middle. But for this occasion, I'm just gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. How cute is that? Then I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail this one right here and I wanna make it as long as I can, like that. Oh, we have another one here with the dovetail. You guys have called me out a few times on my dovetails already. All right, so, so far, how cute is this? This is absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of the picks and this is the one that we use hanging down on the fireplace. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these guys into smaller pieces like this. I'm gonna cut this one into three or two. This one is a tough one. You know quality when it's tough like that. You can hear it by snapping. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. And so I have my glue right here. I'm gonna dip into my glue. Make sure I get some of that glue. And then because we have this garland, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there. And we're gonna create a swag going around his neck. So I'm gonna do one right here. I'm gonna give this one a little curvature. Always remember to just give it a little crinkle so that way it looks more natural. Let it run down and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab and right here. Look at that. Then I'm gonna add one going down. So just give it a little crinkle. Add a little bit of your glue. You still wanna go ahead and grab one of those bristles and then just twist it. The glue is just to secure it. Then I have a fourth one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the back just to make sure that it's even all the way around. So I put a little bit of glue on it. If you guys don't know about this glue, this is Flores glue. Um, it's a pellet glue, so it is better than just your regular hot glue. 
Look how cute. All right. So then I have this other pick right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in two, maybe two. And I do have two, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them both at once. You guys know I like to do cut all of my materials at once so I can insert all of my materials at once because that creates a balance in your arrangement. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just dip a little bit into my glue like that. And so basically we're just creating a lot of texture with this pick. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So these reindeer is going to look like he just went to the forest and he got cut into a beautiful forest of glitter cedar. What do you guys think so far? Isn't this fun? I really hope that you are enjoying this holiday series. And like I told you earlier, the best is yet to come. This is just the beginning of November and I'm super excited to show you guys all of the ideas for this holiday season. I cannot wait. All right, so I'm going to do one more right here. And I wanna know which theme has been your favorite. So far we've done the rose gold, we've done the children's theme, and then now we've done this glam theme. And I really want you guys to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of all of them has been your favorite so far. All right, so then this is really, really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these magnolias. So I'm gonna cut a few of them. And probably three will do the trick like that. I wanna go ahead and give it a little fold to the head like this, dip into my glue. And remember, everything needs to come out of your bow. So go ahead and open that bow, add that flower right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one over on this side. Now, the arrangement on the fireplace, on the mantle itself, doesn't really necessarily have to be exactly like this one, like I told you earlier. They can be sisters, they don't have to be twin sisters. As long as they look like they are from the same family, then that's all that matters. This one got a little stain right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it for another one so it's not all stained. I think it got stained on my glue pan. All right, like that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little curve like this. I'm gonna dig into my glue and let it run down. I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. Look how cute is this? Oh my gosh. Now my favorite thing and element is this. Look at this berry, you guys. Isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? And it comes three. Usually you would stick it into your tree and let it hang out like this. But for this particular project, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy short. So we're gonna do three. Then look at this cluster, absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my glue. Let it run like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start right here on the top. And I'm gonna add one like that. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one a little shorter. Give it a little fold like this. Dip into this glue. This glue is absolutely amazing because it is weatherproof. So that means that you can put it outside and the weather will not affect it. Look how gorgeous that is. That's all it's stunning. And here's a longer one that I'm gonna put over here, going towards the bottom. When you have something going towards the bottom, it is better if you secure it with a stem, but still go ahead and add some glue to this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like that, but I'm still gonna grab two of these stems and just circle it around like this. So that way it's double secure. Okay, I have one more and I feel like I do need a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys a little shorter. And probably two will do. How cute is this? I am having so much fun. All right, everyone, so for our very first project using the mini Dollar Tree uh, Christmas trees, what we're going to do is we're gonna need two of these mini Christmas trees. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and free them out of their box. And also what we're going to need is a selection of deco mesh in white and silver. We're gonna use this beautiful silver meshy material from the dollar store as well. We're gonna use some silver ribbon. This ribbon came out of Walmart. We're gonna use a selection of silver ornaments from the dollar store. And then also these two little picks, they also came from Walmart. So let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is we need to fluff these Christmas trees. And I actually never worked with these Christmas trees. And I've seen so many projects, you know, on here on YouTube and some friends have done some projects and sent me pictures with them. But I wanted to come up with something different, something you guys probably haven't seen before. And just to give you more ideas on how to use these trees because, well, they're only a dollar and they really are worth the money if you would just know what to do with them. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and fluff them and just fluff them to the side. There is no need to fluff them all the way around. So we're just gonna go fluff, fluff, fluff all the way, just pulling those bristles to the side. So then what we're going to also need for this project is gonna be some of our trusty zip ties and some pipe cleaners. And you guys know that if you're a crafter, you need to go out to your supplier and get some zip ties because we'll be using them a lot. It doesn't matter if it is um, crafts or interior design, we just use them a lot. By the way, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you know that I am also an interior designer and floral designer. I just did this on Instagram the other day and a lot of people didn't know that I actually worked as a florist for so many years. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and stagger this guy. So this is gonna be the top of our swag. So we're gonna go put it right here and then we're gonna go ahead and insert this guy right here. And first, what I'm going to do to cover this wire is I'm gonna go ahead and swirl this zip or this um, bristles on it. But then to secure it, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use two zip ties. And so I'm gonna zip tie and make sure that this stays together. And you know, once you pull on that zip tie, if you made a mistake, you have to cut it. So be, be uh, like they say, you know, measure twice and cut one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put another one up here just to really secure and make sure that that's going to stay in place. So once we have our Christmas trees attached together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut the excess like this. And so that's how we have our swag. Look, this is going to be the frame for our teardrop swag. So then what we'll do is we're gonna grab two of these bristles right here and then we're gonna swirl them around together like this, like so. So many, so many of you uh, have told me that you miss uh, me saying like so and I've been trying to just stay away from it. Sometimes still pops up, but so we're gonna swirl them like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick it on our easel. Now, a lot of you also have asked me what this easel is. And this is just a florist easel is using the floral industry. If you go to any of your florists, your local florists, you can probably buy one from them. They're super affordable. They're about $13. So that's what our swag form looks like. And if you guys see, it looks just like a teardrop swag. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop my, um, my deco mesh and I'm going to go ahead and start up here. So what I want to do is I wanna just do some loops here to kind of give us some girth. And what you need to do is just go ahead and pinch right here and swirl. And I'm gonna do one more right here. And I came to the bottom of it and I have some left, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. But then I'm gonna start back up because I have some left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch right here. And the more deco mesh you have, well, the more fuller it's going to look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch right here. Perfect. So then to continue to give it even more girth, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this meshy ribbon that I found also at the dollar store. And that's gonna give it a lot of sparkle. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do one loop right here. Just using those bristles, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more right here. And just make sure that you go in and look how beautiful this sparkles. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Then I'm gonna move on to the other side. 
thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this swag. And then also leave me a comment below and let me know if you've seen this um, idea done before of a swag with the Christmas trees. I know I've done some centerpieces, which we'll do. I'll show you how to do a super easy centerpiece with these Christmas trees. And I'm gonna show you a picture of it with a table and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here. Look how beautiful that sparkles, you guys. That is so pretty. All right, so I came down all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it on top of this deco mesh. I'm just gonna twist right there and I'm gonna put it, I have, a, I have a little bit of it left, so I think I might use it for tails. All right, so then I have my hot glue gun right here hitting, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use one of these picks and probably just one. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right here and I'm gonna secure with some of my bristles. So basically this, um, this Christmas tree is just our base to embellish and to create a beautiful swag. Then I have one more of this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert it on the other side, probably right around here, all the way up. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it and push really hard. So it goes all the way up. Like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and secure with one of the bristles. And that way we have some other type of greenery and it looks absolutely beautiful. So then the next thing I wanna do is I have these uh, picks from Walmart and I am gonna cut them all. I'm gonna free them from their form. And also remember to save that little pick part because we can use it later. But what I'm going to do with these picks, I'm sure I'm gonna cut both of them to kind of save us some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy from its form and I'm gonna have these guys right here. So what I'm going to do is with my hot glue gun, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue in it and I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda pick them in to give us even more texture. Like this. And because the hot glue gun is really hot, then it all really stick and as you guys can see, it really is giving it a lot of texture. And then what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of them going up like that. They're really floppy and they're only a dollar from Walmart. So I really recommend you get yourself a few. Look how pretty, they just give it that bounce texture to your swag. All right, I'm gonna add a few more right down here. Sometimes you have to glue, sometimes you don't. Um, but if it is for outdoors, I really recommend you go ahead and glue it because it'll help it just look to stick in it. I love the way this is looking, but then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and free some of these ornaments that came from the dollar store. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 ornaments for a dollar. And these little ornaments are perfect for projects like this because they don't have to be super, super big to show. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these little ones too. And on this one, you get 16 pieces for a dollar. But the packaging at Dollar Tree is always top notch. So we're gonna just go ahead and cut them. And I'm gonna free them like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and glue a little bit of glue and I'm gonna stick some of them right here. And I'm gonna do little clusters. These are smaller, so I want them to show. So I'm gonna do like two one of each on each side. And you can go all the way down. And that's just gonna catch the light, it's gonna give it a lot of sparkle and it's gonna look super cute. Like this. This is a very frosty theme. All right, so then I need to get a few more of these out. Perfect. We're not gonna do a whole bunch of them just because I just want a little bit to catch the light. I'm gonna do a few more out here. And what we're going to do next is make a beautiful bow. I'm gonna add one of the little ones right there. And as you guys know, I like to work with sets of one, twos, and threes. And the reason why is because when you're working with smaller elements like this, it really does help to show better. Like I'm gonna add one probably right about here. And then I'm gonna add a little one to kind of be this companion because that way it will show better. Perfect. Oh, that looks so cute, I love it. All right, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and make 
a beautiful bow for it. So I'm gonna start with some tails and I already have a piece of ribbon. I always encourage you always to use your leftover ribbon. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold it like that. And by the way, leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see how at the end of the uh, season I store my, my ribbons and my ornaments. If you guys want to see a video like that, just type below a comment so I can make a video for you guys. All right, so I'm basically just making a beautiful bow like this. And I'm gonna do, because this ribbon is very thin and it's a sheer ribbon, I always recommend to make a thicker bow so it shows better. But if you have a thicker ribbon that shows a lot more, then you don't really need to make very many loops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do probably four on each side like this, so I have four. And then what I'm going to do is, remember that leftover ribbon that I had from the meshing material? Well, I'm gonna stick that also in as a tail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of my zip ties. She's right here on my drawer. I'm gonna drive it through. And then I'm gonna pull back, making sure that I have all of my ribbons secure. And I'm gonna tie it very tight like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy up here on the top. And for that, I might have to take my swag off. And then what I'm gonna do is just very tightly secure it, put it back on my stand so we can fluff this bow. And look at that, you guys, how cute is this? Oh my gosh. Then what you need to do is, you need to first of all separate your tails. And then what you need to do is do a, a, like a little loop like this and secure it with the bristle and do the same on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and Grab this guy right here and secure it right here. And then what you need to do is you need to just dovetail your ends like that. And we're gonna go ahead and free that one. And up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and dovetail really short. And then this one a little bit longer, like so. And then this one right here. And just like that, you guys, just in minutes, you have created this gorgeous swag that is wintry. I really love how it looks at this point, but I really think it could use a few more ornaments around the bow. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and insert just a few of the smaller ornaments to give it a little bit of pop. And remember to add a few of them together. And as you guys can see, just by adding a few together, they show better. That is a secret I can give you. Never dot your ornaments, always put them together in groups. And I absolutely love the way this is looking. I'm gonna add one right here. Look at that. Very simple and in a few minutes. All right, everyone, so for this fabulous Dollar Tree centerpiece using the Christmas trees, what we're going to need is obviously two of the mini Christmas trees in the green. We're going to use two zip ties. We're gonna use four of these picks from the dollar store, and these are my favorite this year. We're going to use one of these bushes of the berries in a bow that I already pre-made. So let me clear this out real quick and we're gonna get started. We're also gonna need our hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put all of my tools to the side while I take these Christmas trees out of the package. And you guys have seen the centerpieces done, but I'm still gonna show you the Ramon at home uh, version. You guys know that I like to use Dollar Tree items and make them look a little bit more upscale. Um, so you guys can look absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over here to the side. So the first thing you need to do is take the stands out of it. And I also love the fact that they come with the little stands. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cross them like this. And by using my zip ties, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna secure them 
right here by using two of them. So that way we make sure that they don't move and they don't go anywhere. So basically just zip tie these two guys together as close as you can and pull as tight as you can. And like I said, you wanna do two of them just to make sure that they don't shift. If you do one, then it will shift. But if you do two like this, trust me when I say it is not going anywhere. All right, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and first cut the excess, go here. And then I start the fluffing process. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out. This will look so pretty with some tall taper candles. What I want you to do also is just give it some dimension. Don't do all flat. Also put some up because it is a centerpiece, so it has to be up and down. And if we pull them up, then when we put the tapers down on the table, it helps to disguise that taper. And I will show you once I get it all finished, I'll tell you what it looks like with my taper. Some of them come like that. Save these parts because we can use those to attach to other items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a minute to fluff this and I will be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, so now that our mini trees are all fluffed out and it looks pretty full, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually put it over here to the side and I'm going to bring two of the picks that I love from the dollar store. And I'm going to go ahead and crisscross them like this and also using one of our trusty zip ties. You know, I cannot live without the zip ties. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach these guys together like this or like so there goes another like so <laughs> oh, i'm so trying to get away from it but sometimes you know it just it's just because i'm a self-taught english speaker once you you know once you learn a war you cannot let go of it all right and our bow has these two pipe cleaners that we attach with so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and attach my bow i'm going to sew it around and very tightly just spin it around okay once you have it like this, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and fluff all of your greens and make sure, you know, some of these ornaments are hiding. Make sure that you pull them up over the bow. You can pull this pine cone over here, over the bow. And just go ahead and fluff this bow. Make sure the tails are showing. Those ornaments, those berries are showing. They're on a wire, so pull them up like that. All right. So once we have this done like this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my centerpiece back into the picture. And now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, the bow into the centerpiece. And very tightly, once again, you wanna do this very tightly just to make sure that it goes as flat on the centerpiece. You're gonna go ahead and secure it like that. And now you can go ahead and fluff again. Make sure those tails are showing. Make sure I'm gonna bring because one tail is this way, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the other one all the way over and bring it over here so it's more cohesive. So I like the way this looks already. However, over here is empty. So what I did is I went ahead and put, to get, put apart two of these picks and I just took them apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna start gluing some of these pieces, like if you can see, this is like a, a brush pine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. And that really helps to fill in. And then I have this really pretty cedar. So basically just add a little bit of glue to it. And then you can go ahead and poke it in somewhere. And I recommend you poke it like this, like sideways, so that way it is more visible. And then also what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and balance what you're doing. So basically what you do on one side, you wanna do on the other side. So I added one of the brush ones over here. So then I went ahead and added one of the brush ones over here. Then I added a cedar over on this side. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and add a cedar onto the other side to balance it off. So that way you, what is going on over here? It's also going on over here. 
All right, so this one also comes with this cute little berry. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue into my berry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here towards the end, just making sure that I hide that stem. Then because I put one over here, we're gonna go over to the other side. We're gonna put some glue into our berry. And this is called balancing um, your arrangement. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I worked as a florist for over 10 years. And that's where I learned all of my tricks about balancing. So then I have, it also came with some of the same um, pine greenery. So basically I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in to kind of fill it in. Not so much because it needs it, but those Christmas trees were the only a dollar, but look what you can do with a dollar. If you pull apart another pick and look, it just helps you to really fill it in and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous for under $8. Can you guys believe that? $8, you can create something gorgeous like this. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like on my table. All right, so then I have some of these ornaments and they come with a wire. So basically I'm just gonna cut that wire out and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue into the ornament and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them in to some of my pine bristles like this and secure them. Go ahead and hang on to it for a second. And remember, while you do on one side, you have got to go and do on the other side. That's why it's so important to work with equal amounts because when you're balancing, you kinda need that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one more right, probably right here. Let your eye dictate where it needs it. Okay, now I have another big one over here, so I'm gonna cut that wire out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna add this guy right here. Then I have some of these pine cones that are really, really pretty and glittered. I want this guy to be a little bit more in a prominent spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lift my bow right here, and I'm gonna put it right here. And that's turning out really cute. Now I also have some of these berries from the bundle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the stem out and just keep the berries. And what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. Now here's something I want you to know. So this is our core right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here and then I'm going to go across from my core and I'm gonna do one right here. Then I'm gonna get a few more just to show you one more time. Then I'm gonna do the opposite. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go right here and glue it in. And then I'm gonna go opposite sides and I'm gonna glue in yet another one. Just by adding some glue. So if you guys can see, it balanced the whole centerpiece very well. And then I have two left. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and extend that by adding all the way to the end. And that way it's going to look so much better. Look, now we're extending to one side and we're gonna go ahead and extend to the other side, right here. And just like that, you guys, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous centerpiece for your Christmas table and under $8, how about that? All right, everyone, so for this project, what we're going to need is one of these Dollar Tree wicker wreath forms. We're gonna use a packet of these uh, ties. These are the greenery ties, and then also five of these berry bushels. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just insert some of these right here and then just kind of twist around. We just want a little bit of greenery on the wreath. We don't wanna cover all of it, but we just want it to peekaboo. And as you guys can see, I'm just adding by inserting this wire into the wreath. It's very simple. So basically you just wanna braid it. You can go in and out and then just gonna go ahead and twist like this and then just go ahead and insert right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cover most of it, not all of it, because we really need to just have a little bit of green. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like this, twist, then out right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. 
twist. And it looks like we're gonna need one more. At this point, you could glue that if you wanted to, but you guys know I like to recycle my materials. So I'm not gonna go ahead and glue it just because we know we'll need this for other projects. All right, so I have one more right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist. As you guys can see, it just gives it a little bit of greenery to our wreath. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these guys right here. And you guys know that I like to cut them all at once because well, it makes my life easier. So just go ahead and cut all of your berries and also keep in mind that I like to keep the rest of this stem to make ornament picks. So I'll just go ahead and put them right here to the side, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of this right here. If you guys are enjoying this Christmas series, go ahead and be, uh, give the video a thumbs up. I'm sure having a bowl, and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching all of these videos. It really wouldn't be possible without you, so thank you so much. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead, first of all, let's remove these pesky, pesky tags. They like to put these tags on these picks, like we're gonna steal them or something. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and cut a little bit shorter because what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and insert this guy into our wreath form like this. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go all the way around right here. And this is so easy, look, it just goes right in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. This little wreath could be so pretty on the back of a chair, could be pretty on a window, on a cabinet. And uh, it doesn't matter how small or large your wreath is, what you need to do is you need to continue this shape by going around the perimeter. And once again, you could glue right now if you wanted to, but I'm not going to just because I will probably reuse the materials next year. Um, if it was for retail, of course, then you have to. So I know some of you make these projects to sell. So then for that, I would recommend you glue these projects together. And this bushel is only a dollar, you guys, and it has about four berries. And I only bought about five of these bushels. Um, our bushes, I know it's not called bushel. I don't know why I, con I continue. And what you need to do is like once you went out, what you need to do is go back in. And you wanna go make sure that you alternate. So that way your wreath starts to look fuller. And I remember I worked at this store where these wreaths were so expensive because this popcorn um, berry is just so outrageously expensive. And so on one day I decided that I could do it myself. So I really encourage you that if you see something out on the market and if you like it, just go ahead and give it a try. If this is something you think you can do, just go ahead and give it a try and you will be impressed as to how easy it really is. And right here, my other secret I can give you is once you insert your stem, just go ahead and continue to flip around. That way, it will stay balanced. And then also, if you're not gonna glue, what I recommend is just to leave the stem longer. Don't cut it too short because that way, it all stick further into the form and it'll be harder for it to come out. As you guys can see, it really is becoming a really full wreath. And then also make sure that they pop up because that makes it look more natural. I love the way this is looking, you guys. This is so pretty. Look, and whenever you have spaces like this, just go ahead and insert one all the way in. That way it looks way fuller. Once again, these tags. My goodness, they put like 50 tags per. This one's a little too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a clip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and out right here. And always, always, always spin your wreath. And that's what's gonna give it that really balanced look. And every time you see an empty spot at this point, just go ahead and insert one of your berries. And I know this, this little wreath right here, it's no more than like $6 to make and it will retail for at least 15. So you're really saving yourself some money by making it yourself. As you guys can see, it's looking really full. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spin it around because I feel like it needs one right here. Like this. 
All right, so this is what it looks like so far, but I think we're gonna go ahead and add a cute little bow. So let me get my ribbons ready and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I have these leftover Dollar Tree ribbon with a little bit of gold. It's a wire edge ribbon. And I'm gonna make a cute little bow. I don't want anything too uh, fancy or extravagant. So just basically I'm gonna do a tiny little bow just to give this wreath a little bit of pizzazz. So I think a four loop would be just fine. So there's two, three, and four. And then what you need to do is just pinch right here, cut your ribbon. Oh, look, it was just perfect. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then I'm gonna grab one of these pipe cleaners that I have right here. The color doesn't matter, but I so happen to have some red ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my pipe cleaner through. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it back and pull really, really tight. And once I do the first tight right here, what I like to do is open this right here and then pull that tail down and spin again. And the reason why is because that will pull your tail down like that. Then I'm gonna bring my wreath back up and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this guy to the top right here just to add a sweet little touch. And just go ahead and give it a little fluff like this. Dovetail your edges if you need to, like that. And look at that, you guys. How cute is this berry wreath? They can go on the back of a chair. It can go on a window. Absolutely love it. So to decorate the little tree, I've just selected two types of ribbon. That's all I want. I want this black and white Merry Christmas uh, ribbon and then also this red one. So I'm going to start with a black one and I'm going to attach right here to the top just by using a bristle. And then I'm going to go ahead and do loops. And I just kind of want to weave it in and then use a little bristle to secure it. Making sure that this ribbon really shows since the tree is not going to have nothing but ribbons then I just want it to really be a showstopper. And I love the combination of black and white with the red. It makes it look very holiday and I absolutely love it. All right, so once we went in with the black and white ribbon, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this red and white ribbon to kind of tie it together. So just basically go ahead and pinch. And because I went this way the first time around, I'm gonna go the opposite way just so you can see more of the ribbons. These ribbons came from Hobby Lobby, if you guys are wondering. Super affordable. No need to spend a lot of money since it's gonna be sitting outside anyways. And as you guys can see, I'm just making sure that the pretty side of the ribbon shows forward. And just using those little bristles to kind of pinch. All right, everyone, so after the ribbon, the last thing I'm gonna go ahead is it, add this garland that I show you how to make. These ornament garlands are super fun to work with because as you can see, just by adding one garland, you create a lot of impact and they're super affordable to make. All right, you guys, so for this project, what we're going to need is two of these Dollar Tree 
wreath forms. We're gonna need three of this tinsel garlands from the dollar store. I bought three of them. Then what I'm going to need is one of the one of these snowman uh, forms from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to need a few packs of these ornaments that came from the dollar store and some berries that I had left over from other projects. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and start by removing this um, hanger and tag from the snowman. And then also I'm gonna grab two pipe cleaners right here. And what I want to do is I wanna kind of decide where I want my wreath to go. So because the snowman is looking to his left, I'm gonna put him right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and decide where my hangers need to be. So I need one right there and one right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove this and put it to the side over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna staple this guy right here. All right, now that I have my staples and my pipe cleaners to attach it to my wreath, I'm gonna go ahead and put him to the side so we can get going on the wreath. So what I'm going to do is first of all, remove him from the tag. And I keep on telling you, they put these tags at the dollar store. Dollar Tree people, if you're watching, make sure you don't put this uh, so tightly. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I wanna mention first that I attached two of the wreath forms to make it look more like a donut shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start just by attaching right here. This is wire, so all you have to do is do a knot right here and pull. Some of it will come off, but that's fine because what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew all this around this wreath until we fully cover it. So I think you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this donut shaped wreath with this tinsel and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone. So once that we have all of our wreath cover on this beautiful garland, I love the way this turned out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring my snowman back into the picture. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and find a place for him and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it with the pipe cleaners all the way in the back and just make sure you do it very tightly. As you guys can see, it's super easy. Just give it two or three spins and secure it in place. And I could stop at this right now because I think it looks absolutely cute. However, I'm gonna keep going. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these frosted berries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun right here. I'm gonna stick some glue just to make sure it really sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this guy. You have to do it really quick because they really grab onto that material. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. And just make sure you insert it really quick into your wreath like that. Then I have some of these really pretty glitter berries and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Just add a little bit of glue, give him a little bend, and insert that guy right there. I love the way this is turning out, but I cannot wait to add a little bit of ornaments to it. All right, so I'm gonna add that right there. So then I have these Dollar Tree ornaments, and I'm just gonna put them right there in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue, just a little silver touch. So I'm gonna add one right there. I'm gonna add one right here. And as you guys can see, it really like gets attached to the tinsel and I love it. All right, so then I'm gonna add one of these ones up here and I'm gonna add this silver one. Just be sure you press a little bit. I'm gonna add this cute little silver one in here. And then I have these other ones right here that I got from a past project. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy. Probably just add it right here. Make sure you press it down so it sticks. And I'm gonna add this one right in here. And all of these ornaments came from the dollar store. As you guys can see, this project is under $10 and it is super cute. All we have to do is just give it a try. All right, well, I'm gonna add this last ornament right here. And as you guys can see, this turned out super cute. Actually, you know what? I have one more of these 
glitter berry. So I'm gonna go a little glue. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right here. Like that. And voila, that is what our snowman tinsel wreath looks like. So I'm gonna put this in the door and show you what it looks like. All right, everyone, so to put this farmhouse style fireplace mantle together, what we're gonna need is going to be this beautiful long needle pine garland, as well as a really small piece of a basic garland. So I'm gonna lay this guy right here for now. We're gonna use a variety of picks of greenery, like I have these ones with a little bit of a frost, I have some with the berries, and then also some big pine cones, and you guys can find all of these elements at, um, Hobby Lobby, and shout out to one of the viewers who I ran into while I was shopping for these pine cones. If you're watching, please leave me your name down below. I would like to say hi, and then also we're gonna use some of these um, eucalyptus as well. We're going to use a little bit of burlap ribbon as well as this black and white check ribbon. And then of course, we're gonna use the main source of inspiration, which is the wreath. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hang it up. But basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and Put this on the window right here, and I kind of want it to go a little bit sideways, right? That's gonna be our focal point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my garland with a long needle pine, and I'm gonna go ahead and distribute it right here on this basic garland, so we can use this basic garland to attach, but I want it to be pretty even. All right, and the very important part about this is because you could just lay this garland right here on top of the fireplace, but I really need this basic garland to attach so everything that we're gonna put in here stays in place. So basically what I do is I just grab some of those bristles and I twist around and I'm gonna go over on this side and I'm gonna do the same. That way it's going to ensure that our garland is not gonna go anywhere. So just go ahead and attach right here. Just twisting those bristles from that basic garland into your garland right here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and fluff your garland Make sure that every single bristle on it shows like this. We're gonna go ahead and add some other elements. The next thing I want to add is going to be probably the ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the ribbon. And the reason why I wanna add it next is because I want it to just be a little touch of it. I don't want it to be very, um, very prolific on our design. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here with the bristles. Then I'm gonna do a little swoop right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach one more time Thumbs up if you guys saw last year's uh, farmhouse Christmas tree. It was so beautiful and it had these beautiful lanterns in it. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna link it up right now. If you guys have not seen it, I really recommend you watch it. I also love it. And then also we've done a glam fireplace and a snowman theme fireplace. So basically what I'm doing is just like I'm doing in and out with a ribbon and I want to attach with my basic garland. That's why it's so important to have this very inexpensive material that we can use to attach every single element to our garland with. And as you guys can see, I like to work and make it as simple as I can. I don't wanna have a lot of work to do when I'm decorating for Christmas. I don't think anyone should have a lot of stress over it. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do with a little bit of burlap. I'm just gonna add a little bit of burlap to kind of tie it together with our wreath up here. So basically just following the same pattern I'm gonna go like this then I'm gonna attach right here with my with my ribbon make sure that you fluff as you go all right so then I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other side I just want it to be a little touch on the corners so I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here and look at what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna basically gonna go around this pine cone on our garland to secure then I'm gonna go ahead right here once again you guys Christmas decorating should not have to be so difficult and stressful, so I really don't um, make so many designs where I glue things because it's just so much more work. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't, you cannot do glue right here. All right, so once we have our both ribbons, just a little touch of burlap in our uh, main ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with all of these berry stems, and I have four of them, so what I want to do is 
I want to fluff them a little bit and I want to start in the corners right here. So basically you just insert one and then twist one of your bristles into your stem. And once you're in here, just go ahead and fluff it a little bit. Then what I like to do is go on the opposite side, that way it's even. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy right here, fluff. Then I'm gonna give myself probably about a foot from the other one, about 18 inches. And then you're gonna go ahead and insert again. And just once again with your uh, garland, just go ahead and grab one of those bristles and attach, but make sure that you um, attach. And how pretty are these from Hobby Lobby? These are so gorgeous. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and attach one more right here. So just basically insert, attach, swirl around, and make sure that you um, put them where you want them to be, right? All right, so far so good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with one of these right here. This also came from Hobby Lobby. These are from a few years ago. Have a little frost in it, they're so beautiful. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in between them. I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these guys right here. And so basically you just wanna make sure that you go into that garland and then use one of your bristles to attach it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other side in between the two berries. I'm gonna go ahead and insert one of these guys right here and make sure that you put one of those bristles around. So that way it stays. And at this point, I really want everything to start coming down because I really think that's the most beautiful when it drapes down. Then I have another one, I have an extra one. And for this one, I want it to go down a little bit further. So what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go ahead in between the two berries right here, right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this guy and make sure that I grab one of those bristles and just make it swoop down. I love the way this is looking. Then I'm gonna go in with this eucalyptus and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. So now I'm gonna start from the middle. I'm gonna do both ends right here. So basically just insert one of your stems. And at this point you could cut them if you want to. I'm not going to just because I know I'll reuse them again. You know, I like to reuse my materials when I decorate. So once again, I want it to swoop down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one more right here. Just grab one of my bristles and just twist it around to secure it. How gorgeous is this? I am so loving. Thumbs up if you guys are liking this farmhouse. I'm gonna go all the way out to the corner. So I'm gonna insert one in the very corner right here. And just tie it together with the bristle. And then I'm gonna go over to the other side and repeat the same. All right, so then what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna stop right here Make sure you fluff because I have plenty of them swooping down, but I feel like the corners need, the corners need to be finished. So I'm going to insert one right here in the corner, make it swoop down. And then I'm going to go over to the other side and see how there's a gap right here. That's how you let your eye dictate where do you want that next stem to go. So I'm going to go ahead and insert right here. Make sure that you go through the garland and then with your bristles go ahead and attach one right here. Then I'm going to pull one right here and just attach to make sure that she is not going anywhere. How gorgeous is this looking? I absolutely love it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these pine cones right here. These are so gorgeous. You guys look how big these pine cones are and they were like $8 for three of them. Oh, I just absolutely love these guys but they are. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of or two of my pipe cleaners and I'm gonna twist them together, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and make one long one. And I'm gonna do three of them because we have three big pine cones. So basically just make a longer pipe cleaner. And this is super simple. All you have to do is twist and then twist. And so what you wanna do is you wanna grab your pine cone and on the very top, you wanna go ahead and just swirl it around like this. All right, and then I'm gonna find a place where I want one of the big pine cones and I'm gonna drive my pipe cleaner all the way down right here and then I'm gonna grab it on the back and I'm gonna make it stay right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach to one of my bristles to lock it in place, all right? How cute is that? Oh, I love it. 
I absolutely love it. All right, so I'm gonna do a second one. So basically just tie it with your pipe cleaner. Your long pipe cleaner is dead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one right here. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and secure right here with my bristle. And I feel like the third one should be up here on the top. So, and it is the biggest one. It is the largest one. And I also love these big pine cones. They remind me of the forest in Christmas time. So I think I'm gonna go back and get some more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy up here. Move this guy right here. And just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach to one of my pipe cleaners and one of my bristles. And look, it just locks it in place. All right, so, so far I love the way this looks. You have this big cluster of pine cones right here. You have so much greenery. You have berries and eucalyptus. You have some frosty tip uh, greenery. But the really showstopper right here will be these lanterns that I got from my local Walmart store. And I love a real candle inside of my lantern. So I'm gonna do two, one on each side of my wreath to give it that galvanized farmhouse look that everybody seems to love nowadays. So I'm gonna place them right here. And just like that, you guys, you have yourself a beautiful fireplace decorated for farmhouse style in a very glamorous way. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. So give me a thumbs up if you like it. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And just so you know, there's going to be a playlist in the description box below with even more DIY and decorating ideas for your Christmas season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to read your comments. So let me comment down below and let me know which of all the 15 projects was your favorite. I have my favorite, but I'm gonna just reserve it to myself. All right, you guys, you can watch more videos right now. Consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.